Hey everyone, 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review Zero Dark Thirty, directed by Catherine Bigelow, starring Jessica Chastain, Mark Strong, Jason Clark, Joel Edgerton, and many more people, plus James Gandolfini. And the story revolves around the manhunt for Osama bin Laden. Now let's just say, what Osama bin Laden did was most messed up thing ever. It just broke my heart. I was very young when 9-11 happened, but you know, just reading what happened and as I'm growing up, it's just awful, awful, awful. And I am glad that he actually died in 2011, but I don't want to get uh, into that. I just want to get into the movie. Uh, hearing about Zero Dark Thirty, I wasn't looking forward to it, just not as much as other people. And I love The Hurt Locker, to be honest. Some people may call it overrated, yes. But I love The Hurt Locker. It wasn't overrated to me at all. I just enjoyed the story, the acting, the intensity of the war scene. I gotta say, Zero Dark Thirty is an interesting movie. Catherine Bigelow, who had a lot of passion for this film, she directed this film so nicely. The performances in this film, all around just great. Especially Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain did a marvelous job portraying her character, and I just really enjoyed her acting and the way her character is so obsessed and trying to track Osama Bin Laden. But let me be honest with you all. I didn't love this movie. I couldn't love this movie. I tried to, but I couldn't. I had certain problems with it. But it is interesting. It's nicely directed. And really, I can't pick a better director to do this film than Catherine Bigelow. So honestly, this is as best the movie could be. Here are my problems, though. One, the movie is 2 hours and 40 minutes. And the first two hours is just the dialogue. It's nothing but talking. And it just mainly focuses around Jessica Chastain. And I actually enjoyed that aspect. The, the fact that Jessica Chastain literally gave up her life because she's obsessing about Osama Bin Laden was interesting. But it felt like none of the characters had deep characterization. Like, you don't get to learn a lot about the characters. And while Jessica Chastain does have the character of obsessing over getting Osama Bin Laden having him murdered... Finally, after like 10 years. But really, you don't get that much of a background from her or anyone else is in there. And I know other people have problems in terms of character development because it, there was really no character development here. We saw no chemistry between characters. It was just all about Osama Bin Laden. But the first two hours focuses on Jessica Chastain and it was just talking, talking, talking. And it wasn't until like the last 30 minutes of the movie actually focused on going after Osama Bin Laden. And I'll be honest, it was the best part of the whole movie. And it was quiet, it was intense, and it, it was just mind-blowing to me. I respect the passion that Catherine Bigelow had for this film. And I'm not calling this film bad at all. I got pretty bored at some of the scenes in the first two hours. At some scenes with the dialogue and all, I got really into it. But some of the other scenes during that long first two hours of just talking, I got bored. It, the, some of the scenes just dragged on too long. And a few times I was actually so bored I was checking my phone to see the time. Not in a negative way though, but just that whole two hour and 30 minute or longer or less limit. Uh, could have been taken out a little more. That's my opinion. Those of you that love this movie, that's fine. And you could disagree with me on this. And this movie is interesting. It kept me at least interested. But really, I gotta ask you all this question. Those of the people that love Zero Dark Thirty, be completely honest. Do you love this movie only, just only, because of the last 30 minutes of the movie? Or... Do you love it because of the whole movie that involves just the two hours of talking? Now ask yourself that question. Because a lot of people that say that love this movie only talk about the last 30 to 40 minutes of the movie. But in all honesty, 
I really don't hear anyone talk about the first two hours. That gets me kind of curious. So, and if you're going to love a movie, you have to love a movie as a whole, not because of that final 30 time layer of the movie. So let me know, let me know that in the comments. Do you actually love the whole movie? Like, do you actually love the first two hours of talking and all that? Please let me know that. But overall, it's a pretty good movie, nicely directed. Uh, it's not the best movie I've ever seen, so, and this is a 2013 film uh, to me since it came out to my theater in January 11th. But, unfortunately, it will not be in my top 10 best films of 2013 by the end of the year. So, just so you guys know that. Because I couldn't love this movie, but even though I was a bit let down, I kind of walked out of the theater with a mixed feeling to this film. So, I don't know. Zero Dark Dirty, while it's interesting, in the end was a letdown. Uh, it's a forgettable movie. Let's just say maybe after two months, I'm going to forget about this movie. Uh, one watch for me, in my own opinion, is good enough. But if you're one of those people that could watch this movie nonstop, that's fantastic. I want you guys to love this film. And just because I don't love Zero Dark Thirty doesn't mean you shouldn't love Zero Dark Thirty. If you love this film, that's great. I respect your opinions. And the people that find this movie boring, uh, I respect your opinions as well. And I could kind of understand why. So overall, Zero Dark Thirty is an interesting, nicely directed movie. It was interesting. So I, de I do still recommend Zero Dark Thirty. Unfortunately, my rating for this film is going to have to be two and a half out of four stars. But I don't hate the film. It's my, uh, it's my own point of view on how I view the film. I definitely go out seeing this film, even though I didn't enjoy it as much as the majority of the people here. I do prefer The Hurt Locker over Zero Dark Thirty because that's a film I could watch over and over again. So just remember, people, that's my own opinion, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe to me. Comment below and give me your thoughts. Like this video. Share this video. I hope you all enjoy what you've seen here. And don't forget, I have Tiger Power!